figure 5.8 open chorionic vesicle. This entire structure is the uterus. These are the horns of the uterus. And on each side of the horns, there's an ovary. The ovary is housed inside the ovarian bursa. Eggs are released from the ovary into the ovarian bursa. They then flow into the uterine tube. The uterine tube then flows into the horns. The two horns meet at the body of the uterus. If we were to cut open one of the horns, you'd find the chorionic vesicle. There is one chorionic vesicle in each horn. The chorionic vesicle has white dots. The white dots are areola. If you were to cut open the chorionic vesicle, you would expose the two layers of the chorionic vesicle. One, the outside, is the chorion. Two, the inside, is the allantois. These two membranes make up the chorionic vesicle. The fetus is then also housed inside the amnion. The amnion contains the umbilical vessels. The allantois is made up of capillaries from the fetus. The maternal lining is made up from capillaries of the mother. It's important to know that the placenta has three layers, the chorionic vesicle, which is again the chorion and the allantois, and the maternal lining.